PewDiePie, man. He's one of the most legendary YouTubers there ever was. Normally, a video like this would be on my other channel, Shame on News. So I hope you guys subscribe to my other channel, Shame on News, because this channel could be going away soon because of the whole YouTube weird algorithm shadow banny thing. So Shame on News, sub to that. This is Corrupted Nation. Uh, PewDiePie is... Um, it appears to be shadow banned. I looked it up earlier, uh, tried to figure it out. I searched a whole bunch of stuff, and then I just started searching just plain old PewDiePie. And as you can see, if you search PewDiePie, a video from a year ago pops up. Stalker girl about PewDiePie, uh, you know, PewDiePie clips comes up. Um, then finally PewDiePie's channel comes up from four years ago. Scare PewDiePie from YouTube Originals. So all the YouTube Originals videos are the only ones that pop up below the one-year video. Nothing from recently. You would think it would be a recent video that would pop up. I tried different variations of this. Um, all this was brought to light by um, X XC Stevens, who uh, sent me the tweet. But then I also looked around, and Keemstar is actually raving about this as well, if you check out his uh, tweets. What you get is videos that are a year old, right? You will get some videos, but they're a year old. And then it quickly goes to other people's channels, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna go by uh, upload date, right? So what are we getting here? Somebody saying that he's been shadow banned, uh, a few people saying he's been shadow banned. And then it goes to PewDiePie four years ago? There is, you mean to tell me that's exactly that what I, that's exactly what I just saw happen. And in fact, the video he's showing is the scare PewDiePie video. It's actually a different one. So they're clearly, for some reason, they're, they're the only videos from years ago that are really popping up are the YouTube original ones, which maybe they're marked special or something like that from because other people paid for them. So maybe they have to be searchable because people paid for them and currently pay for them or whatever it is. And so, therefore, the, the YouTube originals have to have to appear. I, I don't know. Four years to 40 minutes ago, there's never been a fucking PewDiePie video. He's been shadow banned, guys. He's been shadow banned. This validates the things I said five years ago. If you guys go watch my channel, my main channel, Joe Cronin Show, which is mostly a wrestling channel now. I cover sports and wrestling only. But back in the day, we did a lot more stuff where we talked about other things and, and things like that. And still, I do some Q&As and stuff like that. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is that five years ago, I said, do you guys really think that radio, Hollywood, Sirius Satellite Radio, the big elites, the big people with billions of dollars are going to just sit here and be like, oh, you know, we're losing views and TV viewership and all kinds of viewership to people on YouTube. Oh, somebody can, like Joe Cronin, can just create a show in his basement and now all of a sudden that's his job. Like, without having to go into the industry, without having to be censored, and the FCC doesn't have control. No, they're going to use the government to come after us and come up with ways and laws and things like that to discredit and kill everything that is about this. I wouldn't be surprised if YouTube isn't behind some of the hit pieces that happen on some of the creators um, on this platform. Uh, we always knew that PewDiePie was going to be taken out because he doesn't play ball. PewDiePie, for the most part, does not play ball. He says things that are over the line. He's a free thinker. He's a free soul. He doesn't. He can't be controlled because he'll he'll do something if he thinks it's cool. But at the same time, if he thinks it's BS, he won't go along with it. And so you can't control him really the same way that you'd want to. The same way they can sort of control. The only person I've seen them really get a, a unfair treatment compared to everybody else is H uh, three H three. For some reason, they blow H three H three, and he's allowed to sort of do these things. I don't know why or what kind of ball he's playing that I'm unaware of. I don't know. But the bottom line is most of these people have been taken out, banned or whatever, or silenced or demonetized. And now this is one of the most scariest things because PewDiePie is a legend. He is the guy. He's the number one most recognizable YouTuber, I would say, of the first or the last the last uh, 15, what, 10 years or 15 years. He is YouTube. When you think about the top 10 YouTubers of all time, you know what I mean? You think back to some of the originals and you, and, and you just think PewDiePie. There's nobody else. Yeah, there's a couple corporations now that are obviously bigger with millions of subs or whatever they are um, and things like that. But PewDiePie was the first solo creator. He came up with this whole channel. He did it. He's a personality. He is the number one guy. This is scary when they, can do, when they do stuff like this. But it's also important to remember they're doing things like this to people uh, with not a lot of subs, you know, especially if they think the wrong way 
uh, from YouTube. So very crazy. PewDiePie definitely shadow banned. Now, I've seen these shadow bans happen where, where they're almost testing, and, and YouTube is like testing something where they're banned for like 20 days or five days or a few days, and then it goes back to normal again. So I don't know if that's one of these cases, if it's some kind of glitch. I just have trouble believing that these are glitches. You know what I mean? Um, so most likely they may have used his channel to experiment something or his channel got caught up in some kind of algorithm thing. I, you know, I don't know. But it seems pretty deliberate. And it's pretty hard not to recognize that one of the biggest creators on the entire platform is shadow banned. A little bit bizarre. That's something you tweet out about. You know, or, or we're aware of the issue. You know, how many other people is this happening to? Or is it targeted? It's, is it targeted? I don't know. Anyway, this is uh, Shame on News, Corrupted Nation. I'm Joe Cronin. If you guys want to support what I do and listen to my one-hour podcast yesterday with Jake, my uh, my co-host, you got to hear it, man. We had a great time. Go check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show, and listen to uh, the Jake and Joe podcast. We had a blast the other night. If you missed it, you missed out. So go listen to it. Well, lots of stuff to talk about over there. Uh, Borat, uh, see, uh, Borat, the second movie's coming out. We talked about that and uh, Rudy Giuliani getting caught. Apparently, though, he's been fully set up. They put a mic in his pocket, asked him to adjust it. As soon as he went to adjust it and put his hand in his pants, that's when Borat burst in and said the girl in the room was 15, which she wasn't. We're going to do a follow-up on that. We'll talk about that later. It's very creepy. It's very weird. Uh, we'll see you guys later. What do you guys think about this situation? Leave the comments down below. Leave a sub. More to come. And uh, comment down below. I will respond to your comments in, I believe, the next video. So get, let's get to, uh, we, we need 69 likes. Please, 69 likes. I'm, I'm a sicko. Let's do it. 69 likes and I won't kill a deer.